Android 4.4 KitKat on my OG G2. How did I get this working? Jason M. So first we're going to prepare our files. Go to about phone section in your settings and you have to check your model number. Your model number, take note of it because this is what you're going to use. Write it down somewhere. Then next hit the build number many times until it tells you you're no longer a developer and you will enable developer options. Go in there and enable USB debugging. Now download root and recovery files from the description below and make sure you have them. Also download the KitKat firmware for your version with the model number. Download the Google Apps and Service package also. You're also going to download Flashify from the description still down below. Connect your device via USB. Check that you downloaded all these files and they should be down in your download folder. And now you're going to extract the I, the root file. You're going to hit run. You let it run and do its stuff. Follow the instructions and make sure it roots your device. If it doesn't root, restart. You copy the three remaining files to your phone and you open Flashify on your device. When you open Flashify on your device, you're going to have to give it super user permissions. Then you're going to navigate to where you kept the file. Now here you click on the recovery package and you hit yup so that you can flash your recovery and it's going to boot you into recovery. When it boots you into recovery, first thing you want to do is do a backup. So you're going to backup your device in case anything goes wrong, you can always go back to that backup. And it's going to take a while so you can go somewhere else. If your screen goes off, don't freak out, just turn it on and you hit back there. You're going to hit wipe and you have to wipe your device. So you're going to have to check only what I checked as a Dalvik cache, the system, the data, and the cache. That's all you what you're going to wipe. Don't wipe the internal storage as you wipe your files. Then next, you're going to want to go to install, and you're going to choose the files to install. The KitKat firmware first, then you add more zip files, and then you're going to choose the Google Apps and Services package. When this is done, you have KitKat installed on your LG G2. Hope you like this video, and... Give a thumbs up for the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more.